Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I'm Reggie. Good to see you all here. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, <laughs> hello, hello everyone. I see already a lot of activity in the chat. Um, hi, if you're new here, welcome. This is Yarniversity. I am Reggie. Yarniversity is a live class taking place once a week, every Sunday. And it is about a different yarn or crochet related subject every week. So when you come in the door, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to join our membership program, all you got to do is uh, push that little join button right next to the subscribe button. And it will uh, tell you everything you need to know in order to join our very special membership program. I'm very, very happy to see all of you here today. I saw um, Anvita and Angela and I see Ursula and Life is a Jam and Catherine. Hi, Catherine and Doris. Hello, Doris. And Christy is here and Doris said she is going to mow the grass. <laughs> okay, Doris, have fun. And hi to Alice and Lacey, good to see you here. And Lynn is here. Hello, everyone. Hope all are having a great day so far. It's actually the day is almost finished here where I am. For those of you who don't know, I live in Germany. It's 6 p.m. here. Um, hello to Lori. Hi, Debbie is here. And Madonna. Hi, Madonna everyone go subscribe to madonna she's amazing i love her live chats um hello to lauren jordan thought i peek in as it's the first notification i've seen wow really uh followed over from affordably geeky uh can't stay long though tea time soon okay lauren well welcome good to have you here <laughs> um hello to kelly and laura is here hi 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 <laughs> So say hello to Kelly Presley. Hey, everyone from North Carolina. It's your first live. Cheers to people who are coming in uh, first time. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> Cheers to newcomers. We love newcomers. I'm having a hobgoblin today. You guys, if you like beer and you never had hobgoblin, you're missing out. Ofik is here. Ofik is in the chat. This is my brother. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you've seen him on uh, my very first What is This video. Um, Ofik was my first contestant and he totally beat me at my own game. So hi Ofik, shalom! Um, Everyone saying hi to everyone. Did I miss anyone? Hi Jana, welcome in. Good to see you here. And Kevin! Karen, so glad you could join us. Um, hi to D. Hello to everyone. I am very, very happy that you're all here with me. So um, if this is your first time joining in, once again, hi, I'm Reggie. This is Yarniversity. Um, what I do here is I teach a live class every Sunday on a different yarn or crochet related subject. And today we are talking about things that you really should not try to crochet. Um, and yeah, so the first half an hour of the live chat is uh, pretty much uh, different things that have to do with the channel, um, administrative things, things that happened over the past week. Um, and then about half an hour in is where the class actually begins. So if you are with us here live and you're not interested in all the uh, chatter, um, then this is your time to go get yourself a drink, <laughs> um, you know, go to the toilet, walk your dog, whatever you need to do before the class actually begins. And if you're watching this on replay, you can always skip ahead the first half an hour of the live chat before the class begins. Um, if you're not sure if you're here live or on replay, all you gotta do is take a look at top of the chat screen if it says live chat or top chat you are here live if it says live chat or top chat replay uh, then you are watching the replay now if you are with us live I highly recommend that you switch your chat to live chat mode so that you can see everyone's comments and not just what you do um, considers as top chat and yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe um, All right, did I miss anyone coming in? Hi, Francie, welcome in. 
Alex is saying she's being good, lost almost a stone in a month. Don't tempt me with beer. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Alice. <laughs> oh, hello, Evelyn. Welcome in. Good to see you here. By the way, Pink Sheep Designs, she has a great sale on her store right now. I think it's 25% off. Correct me if I'm wrong. Totally go check her out and check her out on uh, YouTube and Instagram. She's amazing. I love her um, and I love her designs. And um, yeah, cheers to my brother. Cheers, Ofek. <laughs> um oh my chat just so laura says she loved that video oh the the what is that video yes he think he did he did his research i think i think he sort of cheated <laughs> oh uh hi angela the crazy poppy lady good to see you here um I don't think I missed anyone. All right. Hello to Donine from Canada. Good to see you here. All right. So, um, normally I start with um, welcoming in uh, new newcomers to the members uh, to the membership program. So we have one new member who joined since last week. And that's Proverbs 31 Yarn, who I believe her name is Jeannie, I think she said last time. Um, so uh, welcome, welcome to the new member. Cheers. I haven't seen her here today, but maybe she will join in later. Uh, we're going to say cheers anyway, because maybe she'll watch the replay. Cheers to new member. Um, I also got a very uh, special happy mail. Um, Lori Armstrong here in the chat sent me these two stickers that she got from Pink Sheep Designs also here in the chat and look at these I love them so much one of them says you know f off I'm crocheting and the other one says hooked and I love these I already know exactly where they're going to go but I didn't want to put them on anything before I show them to you guys so thank you very much Lori and you guys if you are interested in the stickers you can get them at Pink Sheep Designs store um <laughs> hi HD good to see you uh and Linda is here yarning and darning hi welcome in Lori says speaking of pink sheep I think you need to um to get your keep crochet keep crochet weird sticker keep crochet weird oh <laughs> okay um you Sorry, my chat keeps uh, jumping. Hi, Rosemary. Welcome in. Um, Angela, it's okay if you lurk. Totally fine. And, ooh, and we have another new member. Cheers to life is a jam. Thanks for joining our membership program. Cheers to you. And hi to Mocha. Yay, new member. <laughs> right the stickers are awesome i i so love them they're so me she sent them to me after she she wrote a note and she said she sent them to me after watching the naughty yarn university episode and she just had to send them to me and i love them hi mary bell welcome in um yes okay i hope i'm not missing anyone hi dawn good to see you from texas Awesome, awesome, great. Very happy you're all here. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. We have 40 people here and 28 thumbs. So a lot of you didn't. Come on, hit the thumbs up. Let YouTube know that we are here. We have a very, very cool episode today. I think you're all going to love it. Um, hello, Joyce. Hi. Speaking of Joyce, <laughs> I don't know, it reminded me, Joyce, um, that my new shawl design um, was released today, the Zazura shawl that uh, I showed you guys last week and maybe some of you saw it on Instagram. If you're following me on Instagram, I show it there as well. I had just released it today. Um, and it is now available for purchase on the Etsy shop. And if you purchase anything on my Etsy shop, don't forget to use your special discount code. It's in the description box below. Also, we still have until the end of September, 20% off of my Teespring shop using the code FALL21, all caps. So if you're interested in any Yarniversity merch, 
now is the time to get it it's only good until the end of september hi to mayor welcome in um yeah yeah lori i i totally understood that <laughs> yes i i thought you meant my sticker and then i was like huh whose sticker and then i figured it out um but thanks <laughs> um all right so yeah so azura shawl uh pattern was released uh available on etsy don't forget to use your discount code um and i wanted to show you because i always like to shout out my amazing testers so here are pictures of some of my testers this is debbie <laughs> debbie made a beautiful version of the zorzora shawl so thank you very much debbie and i think i have another one of debbie just so you can see the whole shawl there it is it's beautiful she she chose a wonderful wonderful color and um debbie maybe you can say in the chat what yarn you used for the people who are interested thank you very very much debbie and um another one of my testers was Jax from creations from J uh, by Jax. i think she's not here yet but she might come in later and this is oh that's a little too big that's Jax's version beautiful um okay Joyce uh Lauren say well need to go but you got my thumbs up thank you yes you can always watch the replay um thank you for being here hello to Roberta good morning um hi Sandy hello welcome in Sandy um yes yes everyone did an amazing job on their um shawls right the jacks <laughs> totally um so this one is from jacks i have i think i have another one from jacks that i can show you that's you know she put it uh um straight up so you can see um here it is so that's also from jackson i believe Jax used a mega ball from hobie um, if you're interested in knowing uh, what yarn it is. Um, thank you, Francie. Yeah. Um, and I have one more. And this one is from Judy. I haven't seen Judy here yet. But uh, maybe she will come in later. So you guys can all tell her how beautiful her sh hair shawl turned out. She made hers with a hand-dyed yarn. And I just love how it worked out it's so beautiful um so yes the tester did an amazing job um and i'm totally totally happy with my little group of testers who's kind of like you know um i kind of have like my regular <laughs> testers now even though i was you know ask for testers and i'm always happy to get new testers um but it's sort of like the same people uh say they would love to test and since i already know that they are such great testers um so thank you thank you very much uh to all of your ladies you did an amazing job on your shawls and of course as i've said um the listing is already on etsy and if you're interested you can go and get it um Lori says she's glad i like the stickers they just yell at me reggie need these and you were right i so need these like i said i already have i know exactly where they're going i just wanted to show them first um yes jacks uh, everyone's everyone's shawls uh were beautiful and yeah they they look amazing so you guys uh here uh, debbie is saying she used a, a karen big cake from yarn inspiration it's a four weight in grape jelly so thank you for um that info and judy is here yes she is here just stopping in uh to say hello have to leave for a family celebration in a few minutes okay judy thanks for you know stopping by don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way in and out and have a wonderful uh time at your uh family uh event um 
Evelyn saying, yes, I'm doing a live panel on YouTube with six of my veteran testers to talk about the test experience and I'm calling it the secret life of pattern testers. Yes, I mean, okay, I test patterns for a lot of designers. You guys know that if you've been watching me for a while, every once in a while I will show things that I, you know, I'll show them on, on, on Instagram and I will also uh, show them on on. Um, on my videos and I'll show things that I tested for different designers. I do, I know, between five and 10 <laughs> pattern tests for other designers uh, a month. Plus I have, you know, my own um, patterns that I have testers testing for me. So I, like being a tester requires a lot and um, we as designers require a lot from our testers. So once you find those good testers that you can really rely on, you want to like keep asking and using the same testers because you know how well they do their job. So, but, and, and good testers are very hard to find. So I got to tell you, like I said, you guys know I release a lot of patterns and each one of them goes through a, a testing period and finding good testers that actually know what they need to do as testers and do a good job um, is very, very hard. So whenever, you know, I find someone who's, who's good and they willingly want to continue testing for me because it has to work both ways, you know. So if, you know, I like them and they like me, I'm very, very happy. Um, and, you know, speaking of pattern tests, <laughs> it is shawl season. And um, as you all know, I love making shawls. I love designing shawls. And shawl seasons is season is pretty much you know my time to bloom and shine. So I have another shawl design uh, that will require testing, and um, it will come up this. Uh, well, the the pattern will be ready for testing this week. So I, I don't have it to show it to you guys right now. But uh, if you you know you know my kind of designs and are interested in uh, testing my brand new shawl, uh, email me. My email is in the description box below. I'll need like normally about five to six testers to test that new shawl and um, as I've said the, the pattern will be ready to ship out to testers sometime this week and so if you're free uh, write me an email um, thank you Debbie <laughs> and HG says uh, white and green combination good because pattern shows clearly um, and Chris is here hi Chris <laughs> We were all waiting for you. <laughs> um, Sandy says, yay, just joined Pink Sheep Design, so I'll get the notification. Yes, totally go check out uh, Evelyn. I love her. I watch her uh, on, on on YouTube and I follow her on Instagram. And she also does 3D uh, printed things, which I love. I love that. Um, Hi, Catherine from uh, Little Vicious Stitches. Good to see you here. <laughs> um, Judy says, count me in for the next shawl too. <laughs> All right. Just so I won't forget. Don't forget to uh, email me. Like, I, fine. I just, I will forget it. Um, okay, last thing on my list for today because I didn't have a lot of things to announce today other than, you know, the pattern release. Don't forget there's still Teespring and I, we had one new member um, to welcome in. So the last thing I want to say is this month's members only live um, it was supposed to be this week. I very, very sadly had to postpone it. I'm sorry. Uh, there was something came up in the last minute and I just couldn't um, uh, do it at the time that we said and I didn't feel like it's... I mean, I didn't feel that it would be fair to like postpone it in an hour or two. I wanted to like give a fast time when it's actually going to happen. So um, I uh, postponed it uh, to the 29th. So for those of you who are in the membership program, uh, the members only live is open to all members, no matter what um, level of membership you're in. And it will take place in, on the 29th instead of uh, like it was supposed to be this week. And um, if you are joining in to the members only live on the 29th, we will be making a scarf together. Or you can also make it as a cowl. So like either a cowl or a scarf. Um, and all the details about, you know, the kind of yarn hook and everything that you'll need to use is um, in the community tab of the channel as well as on the Facebook group uh, it's pinned to the top of the um, of the of the group on Facebook so either on Facebook or on the uh, community tab search for that members only um, 
post. Yeah. And then you'll see what you need in order to make that. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that is all, um, you know, the administrative uh, notices that I had for today. So um, we still have 10 minutes before the class actually begins, um, which leaves a very, uh, you know, little bit of time for chit chat. Um, I do want to say that I still have one winner of a giveaway that did not contact me. Um, so if you took part, <laughs> uh, today's kind of your last chance to contact me. So if you took part in either, I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I think it's not fair for the people who do take part and come back to check out if they won or not. So if you took part in either a giveaway video that I did, which was a specific giveaway video, um, and you missed uh who the winner was maybe you'd want to go to the community tab and check uh or if you answered one of the yarn university questions over the past few weeks and um your name may have come up uh as the winner then maybe you sh should you know go back and watch the replays of yarn university from the past uh, two or three weeks or whichever one you missed because i am still missing one winner and today is uh the last day for that winner to claim their prize if uh they will not claim their prize i will have to uh redraw a winner for that specific prize um hi to chantal welcome in and good to see you here um chantal by the way did you already get your prize that you want from me i think i shipped it like three weeks ago and everyone else whose price i shipped at the same time together with yours has already notified me that their prizes arrived so i'm just checking in uh if you've gotten yours um hi katrina good to see you here thank you for joining <laughs> madonna <laughs> <laughs> that's a good deal you got there <laughs> was that like a memo we all signed somewhere and i missed it <laughs> um yeah so i'm done i have no more uh things to say uh that are you know administrative things uh, i will tell you all that today's subject is already up on the blog so um Oh, I do have two more things to say. Um, hi, Christy. Cheers. <laughs> she says, cheers, we got a drink, right? Um, no, Canada is very far. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, Reggie, have you had a chance to try and tackle the instructions I sent you? Yes. Uh, Chris, I will email you back this week. Um, you did a video on it. Oh, I must have missed it. <laughs> Shame on me. Um, all right. So I do actually uh, have two more things to say. So first of all, okay, I'll finish what I started saying. I started saying before that today's uh, topic that we're going to talk about is already up on the blog. So if you come in late or you have to leave early or at any point during the live, you're just tired of hearing my voice, you can go to the blog and read all about today's topic on the blog. Um, but two other things I wanted to say, I mentioned it in the last two weeks, but I'll mention it again, just in case, you know, people who were here were not here. Um, we have two live game shows coming up. You guys know my live game shows. I give away a lot of prizes. Some of them I supply and some of them are, um, donated by different, you know, viewers, makers, supporters of the channel. Um, so the first one is, uh, the Halloween a uh, holiday special which uh will take place on october 10th and the second one is yarniversity one year yarniversary <laughs> um, which will be on november 14th so if you are interested in donating any kind of prize to any one of these or both um then you can email me my email is in the description box below uh if you have a prize in mind that you would like to donate you can tell me what it is or if you just want to donate something and don't really have an idea of what it can be then you can email me and we'll figure it out together um 
you don't have to be a maker in order so it can be if you are a maker of any kind it can be you know a pattern that you you donate one of your patterns or you donate um if if you make i don't know if, if you make um stitch markers or if you make um polymer clay hooks or if you you know make project bags so notion pouches or whatever it can be something like that or if you are just a supporter of the channel and you want to donate something then you know you can put together something small like two skeins of yarn send me a picture of them tell me this is what i'll send to um the winner or any anything like that we have had in the past people donating anything from uh stitch counters to um uh yarn rings a lot of things like that so really it doesn't have to be a huge prize i'm pretty sure everyone here can attest that we all of us are happy with whatever kind of prize that we give away. People uh, love, you know, getting them. And pretty much the point of um, the holiday specials are to have fun and not just to win prizes. So, um, you know, join us for that. Um, hi, Amanda Bob Crafts. Hi. <laughs> so happy to be able to catch some of the live. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining in. And Judy had to go. Okay, thank you for being here, Judy. We uh, were happy to have you, even if just for a little bit. Yes, the game shows do rock. Um, I personally uh, like them a lot. You know, I'm I'm having I always have a lot of fun on the game shows. Um, you know, I normally end up very tipsy as well. <laughs> I already have my witch hat for this year. I hope uh, you know that you all join me on that day. Okay, and now we have four minutes left before class begins. So is there anything special that you guys would like to say um, before it's time to kick it off? Uh, if you haven't yet, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to join the membership program, the little join button down below next to the subscribe button will tell you everything you need to know about the membership program, what it takes from you and what you get in return. Um... <laughs> yes alice right for those of you who were here you know on my birthday uh <laughs> game show i thought that was kind of fun it was like five hours and i ended up pretty drunk <laughs> i thought it was fun um all right so uh if there are um no you know special questions remark or whatever then uh, we are, you know, free to uh, start today's lesson. Are you guys excited? I am just going to open my picture folder because, as you know, I love to show you pictures of the things I talk about. um evelyn saying i'm really excited to have released my yarny halloween merch that's my big win right now wow wow i haven't seen that yet i gotta go look <laughs> um yes thumbs up uh third of yard done oh <laughs> doris is multitasking on her lawnmower <laughs> um Alice, I'm glad you all had fun on my birthday. All right, so we can uh, start today's class. So today's class is about what not to crochet. And um, I think that I should probably start this class by giving, you know, a disclaimer. <laughs> this happens to me uh, a lot lately. So... Um, I know that um, we have a lot of people in the chat with us who are designers and I also know that all of you <laughs> are crocheters or knitters or you know different yarn uh, fiber arts uh, um, aficionados so <laughs> I should probably say that um, today's lesson um, does have some you know scientific 
backings to it and it does have some facts um, supporting why you shouldn't crochet certain things but uh, some of it is also why I think you shouldn't crochet uh, certain things so I very much hope that you all know me already and know that this is not aimed as an um, insult or an offense to anyone and I hope nobody takes offense from today's class and I hope nobody takes it personally uh, or gets offended because one of their favorite things to crochet is something that I think should not be attempted to crochet or that science says that you shouldn't <laughs> um, so you know just this is in no like i am not i never am setting out to like attack someone or off offend someone um intentionally so please don't take it this way and if you do get offended i'm sorry uh you shouldn't you really shouldn't um but uh as i've said on the naughty crochet episode nobody was forcing you to watch okay um Yay to multitasking, Jana. Right. Crochet whatever makes you happy. Um, Linda saying, I have a feeling this class is going to be hilarious. <laughs> yes, you, you might have a, <laughs> a point there. Hi, Wanda. Okay, so I gave my disclaimer. It's already half past six in the evening here, so class is in session everyone and we are talking about what not to crochet um if you are like me as crocheters uh, a lot of times we find ourselves seeing different things and saying oh my god i can totally crochet that uh you know you see a certain item uh, you you think oh that might be fun if i make it in crochet um so you want to make everything around the house um but sometimes <laughs> uh, stopping, rethinking it uh, might be a good idea because just because something can be crocheted doesn't necessarily mean it should be crocheted. And actually there are some things that really should not be crocheted. Once again, on this list, uh, I will talk about things that should not be crocheted because there is an actual scientific backing to why they should not be crocheted because they might be dangerous for different reasons and i will also talk about things that i think should not be crocheted because it's just silly so please no one take offense um the first thing i'm going to talk about and i cannot stress this enough <laughs> do not crochet any kind of feminine products <laughs> okay um now in case i mean sometimes there are things that i say that i really think it's silly that you know i should be saying them but apparently i should because these kind of things they exist <laughs> why is it different question um but they do um right right ursula uh, it is my channel, it's my opinion, and I am the dictator. Um, Ursula is saying, by the way, Reggie, that shirt color are really flattering on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Catherine. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, people are laughing already. So, yes, do not crochet any kind of feminine products. Um, now, you guys you know me <laughs> i am a big believer in anything that's you know reuse recycle upcycle lower waste uh less consumption I, that's you know i'm all about that but there are some things <laughs> that you just should not reuse or recycle um feminine products are one item that i would never ever try to save on by crocheting it and, and i personally think that you shouldn't either um and when it comes to this kind of products there are so many different regulations and standards that are set by major authorities you know fda major <laughs> um and big mass product uh, production companies and factories that make them have to stand in those standards um, and those 
standards and regulations are set in place to prevent things like you know um tss which is um toxic shock syndrome uh and there's a lot of other kind of infections and blood infections and uh, things that you can get <laughs> from reusing uh feminine products because it doesn't matter how many times you wash them they will not be as sterile as those that come out of the box or the wrapping um, so in short, <laughs> making crochet tampons uh, might seem uh, like an economic and environmentally friendly project, but uh, the potential health consequences of uh, using handmade items um, as hygiene uh, products, uh, they kind of like outweigh the environmental <laughs> or economical uh, advantages. Um, so, you know, it can be a serious health risk, uh, not to mention a serious hazard. <laughs> so unless you want to expose yourself to all kinds of dangerous bacteria and other infections, just make something <laughs> else, okay? Um, and if you do feel like a deep urge to crochet tampons <laughs> um, then this uh, is the only kind of crochet tampons that I um, that I allow you to make um, make amigurumi tampons <laughs> and use them I don't know for like education purposes um, but please don't make the other kind um, <laughs> Alexandria said that was her first thought too oh no yeah oh my yes yes people actually make them Angela says OMG no they are so dangerous to the user yes um, this is just wrong says Alice they don't really use them says Cindy oh people do <laughs> oh my goodness what the heck says Ursula um, Catherine says yeah that doesn't seem very sanitary I have recently seen a pattern for fabric napkins um but that's different um roberta says i won't even say what i think those white things are <laughs> alexandria says with polyfill inside you cannot sterilize them before no i think the ones were not with polyfill inside but that, uh, that is correct you cannot that's one way of achieving <laughs> death by crochet says alice <laughs> Put an eyeball on it and it could be a sperm amigurumi, says Kelly. <laughs> yes, totally dangerous people. Um, yes, uh, I guarantee someone has tried this. Oh, Lacey, not only have they tried this, if you actually Google crochet tampons, you will get different um, blog posts for people explaining why they are good. Uh, yeah don't believe those hi dora dora is a uh, db hello welcome uh those would be good for nosebleeds says dora okay for nosebleeds i will allow you to use them <laughs> um loka that would be great entry for the naughty challenge yeah right um hope they didn't use wool oh my god <laughs> um alexandria says those are maybe a gag gift only thing and mocha says when reggie starts with a disclaimer that means you need a snack because this is going to be hysterical <laughs> and she already has her popcorn um Catherine says the amigurumi ones are cute and ursula um i can't even think why one would make it in amigurumi <laughs> Well, um, I don't know, educational purposes to explain to girls about feminine products. Um, so maybe it's maybe people like to cuddle them at night. I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, there are. There are a bunch of patterns of these. Um, look, um, <laughs> you guys, it's not a joke. I'm serious. People actually make these. Um, and like I said, there are, I mean, yeah it doesn't get worse than this <laughs> sorry um what the heck with eyes <laughs> yeah you know so i'm a groomy kind of thing um joyce is saying 
LOL in public, keep it up and people will be staring at me. That's always a risk when you watch university in public. Thank goodness I don't have to worry about tampons anymore. <laughs> okay, those kawaii ones are actually cute, says Lacey. <laughs> Why do big black eyes make everything so cute? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vera. Welcome in. Uh, maybe people like to go to Yeah, I don't know. Like, why would someone come up with, with that amigurumi pattern? If you are interested in that amigurumi pattern, by the way, I put a link to it on the blog. <laughs> if anyone's interested. <laughs> um, Cheryl is saying girls would faint they were for um, demonstration purposes. <laughs> so, like, not actual demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Catherine is saying, Ursula, I think tonight the answer for a lot of questions will be because they can. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, which is why what I started with, you know, just because you can crochet something doesn't mean you should. Um, I'll just think it's lipstick, says Debbie. Okay, that's nasty, says Chris. <laughs> Let me uh, put that away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Alice is saying it's an approachable way of teaching the part of the human population that do not get periods. Yes, right? Okay, for, you know, educational purposes. But don't actually use them. And Catherine is saying, can you imagine pulling out, uh, pulling one of these big ones out of your purse in a restaurant and head to the toilet? Oh my god! <laughs> you guys are hysterical. Lexi is saying, if if anyone needs to make a Christmas present for an OBGYN, <laughs> that they know. Ami <laughs> Gurumi tampons. Oh my god! <laughs> right? <laughs> tampons with pieces on them are scary. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> she said it. She said it. <laughs> Alice is saying, is this an will it sack opportunity? <laughs> I love our Sunday evenings together. <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. Cheers, everyone. All right. So, as I was saying, I cannot stress this enough. Do not crochet feminine products unless they are amigurumis. Um, and only crochet those if there's, like, an actual reason. <laughs> um, because they are kind of creepy when you put faces on them. I mean, tampons who smile at you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um... I'm sure I can see from the chat that most of you agree with me, so I'm glad that we are all on the same page about that. Lacey saying, does anyone else kind of want to make a little uh, carrying bag to keep your tampons in in your purse that look like these? <laughs> Is it just me? <laughs> That's an interesting idea, Lacey. Um, Angela is saying, okay, I've had a thought that tampons would look good on the Christmas tree next to the crochet toilet rolls that was a thing last year. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a tree with tampons on it? No, oh no. Um, if there are any men watching, I wonder how shades of red they are. Chris is here, he can tell us. I'm just grateful my husband <laughs> didn't walk in right now, said so Debbie. <laughs> and Catherine is saying, Cat, make one for your patient uh, who won't do their uh, Kegel exercises <laughs> as a warning. Do your exercise or this is what you will be needing. <laughs> oh my god. For those of you who don't know, Cat, um, uh, Little Bish's Stitches is also a midwife. 
<laughs> tampons that smile right they're creepy tampons should not be smiling at you um yeah right lacy that's a good idea lynn is saying you all have me laughing so hard my sides are hurting well lynn you should get used to it your university normally ends like that <laughs> but today it starts like that uh, but that normally happens with your university um uh, hi sonia from sourland siphon good to see you oh sonia i have a question for you i have you here sorry Sonia, these were in my subscription box. Can you tell me what they are? Um, Kelly saying, why do they need eyes? Isn't it pretty dark in there? <laughs> what will they be looking at? Oh my god. <laughs> Kelly. Uh, Dora says, classes at your university should start with the kind of subject. Can you imagine the attention of us? <laughs> yeah, right? Um... Sonia says, damn, great time to join crochet toilet rolls and tampons. Oh, Sonia, you totally missed the fact that we were talking about um, crochet tampons, which is, uh, sorry, which is something that you uh, definitely should not crochet, um, but it exists, apparently. Yeah. Um, my friend does a Christmas of sexy things, so tampons will make a good addition. Oh, my God. Um, Chrissy is saying her husband walked by, paused, and said, Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, neighbors thinks I'm not hysterically laughing on a John Deere track. <laughs> uh, Angela said, Next door on the tree, add um, sanitary towels, but keep the tree at Christmas. Make Make sure the towels have wings on them. Oh, God. Yeah, of course it's soap, Catherine. Um, those are four soaps with hemp. One with rose scent, one lemon scent, one lemongrass and rosemary. They do smell amazing. And one with patchouli. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, they smell amazing. I was just not sure um, what kind of soaps they are. They're smiling because you're supposed to have a happy period, <laughs> says Mocha. <laughs> oh my god. You know how on those um, feminine products commercials, the, the, the girls are always like, they're walking around, they feel so free, and they're like dancing and, and gliding down the streets in their in skirts, and I'm like... <laughs> That is never me on my period. Never. Uh, right, crochet tampons. <laughs> I just came home from a cultural event at a local synagogue. And now I had the complete culture spectrum. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> Ali says, okay, I would never have put sexy and that time of the month in the same sentence. Oh my god, Alice, I have so many comments about that, but I, I, I don't think YouTube will let me stay on if I say them right now. <laughs> right? They smell amazing, these songs. Hi, Julie. Hi, I'm late. Just in from church. Wow, that's the first item to see. <laughs> yeah, it's the first one we spoke about so far. I really, really want to know how you come up with a topic for the live. <laughs> uh, I can go horseback riding, says, <laughs> uh, says um, Catherine. Oh my god, I cannot. I cannot go horseback. I cannot go ho horseback riding when I'm not around. <laughs> uh, no one has a happy period, says Jana, right? Like, wouldn't it be way more like wouldn't it sell way more feminine products if the women on the commercials were actually like sitting at home grouchy like eating ice cream out of a bucket being like don't talk to me i don't wanna don't even look at me like stay away <laughs> that i would buy right <laughs> um sonia says with a good tampon you can play tennis well i can't play without one so perhaps it's worth a try <laughs> um, 
Also, I said she never feels happy about having her period. Grateful, yes, when I still wanted a baby, but otherwise, no. <laughs> oh, what, Reggie? You don't suddenly feel the need to hop on a horse and ride into the... No, 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 no. Um, no, no, I feel the need to lay in bed and have everyone stay away from me for the week. Um, in one sentence, you speak of the smell of the soaps that's so nice and tampons and soap smell. So I'm like getting confused. <laughs> no tampons, no tampons. <laughs> I'm glad uh, this was an interesting experience <laughs> for all of you guys. Now, since we started up, uh, wait. Okay, you know, I got I gotta show you something. Um just give me a second to find it, okay? <laughs> um I have to show you um a picture. <laughs> okay, and I I cannot stress this enough. Um, this is a, like a do not try to crochet this kind of item. Um, but give me a minute. I need to, I need to get the picture. Um, I don't know why I, I, I should have, um, I should have had it on before. Okay. So, okay, now these, um, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys in advance, this, this is uh, like, you're, you're not going to look at life again <laughs> the same way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Alice is saying tennis would be the wrong sport. They're clearly more appropriate for badminton. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Ophic says <laughs> he doesn't think tampons make good rackets. <laughs> Linda says she knew this would be the class to attend. And Sonia says my period is the only time of the month when no one bothers bothers about my grumpy personality and no one frowns on the amount of ice cream consumed <laughs> oh <laughs> no <laughs> right off a cure so so right i don't think tampons make good rackets <laughs> um Hey, Dinka is here. Uh, she says, hi, also joining you live for a bit. Lots of love from us. Dinka is Ofek's wife, so it's my brother's wife. Welcome, Dinka. Cheers to you. Yes, okay, you guys finally saw the picture. So yeah, oh, good Lord, what the heck? Uh-oh, <laughs> she's starting. It's gonna be a good one. Um, Hi, Lori. <laughs> Um, these need to be staying wrapped, but this is not a terrible idea, says Lacey. What is that? <laughs> okay, at this one, speechless. Is that a tampon holder? Yes, these are under crochet underwear with spots for tampons in them. Now, like, put aside the fact that, that if you do make this and you put tampons in there, the tampons should definitely be in their wrappings and not just like that. But... What would you wear that with? Like, what kind of skirt can you wear over this that would not have bumps where your tampons are? <laughs> like, what? This is not even practical. Unless you're walking around the house wearing only these. Which, again, would make no sense when you're on your period. Um, um, these need to be staying wrapped. I read all of that. Yes. <laughs> This has given me a laugh of the week, says Roberta. After a hard week, this is the best. And Chris is saying, oh, this is just too much information. I'm so sorry, Chris. I, I, I promise the rest of the items on today's list are not feminine products. Yeah, why are they unwrapped? But, like, put aside the fact that they are unwrapped. Like, why? 
Also, why would you take them out of their plastic? Yeah, yeah. Um, the other Chris is here and he joined just in time. Hi, Chris. <laughs> I think Chris is having second thoughts. I think both of them are. <laughs> yes, period panties. Um, you don't mind those? <laughs> Uh, some people really need to find new hobbies, says Mocha. Their, uh, um, hooks need to be taken away and they should be banned from any store that sells yarn, right? Um, no skinny jeans for you, says Mayor. And Angela says, over a box-plated skirt. <laughs> So this is the feminine version of the gun in the halter, right? <laughs> uh, well, my fat rolls will help to cover them, says Lacey. <laughs> Since you're bloated, you'll be wearing buggy sweet pants. <laughs> buggy sweatpants, says Alexandria, so these fit. Um... And Debbie says he's dying over here. My family is wondering why I'm laughing hysterically. <laughs> yes, Chris, you showed up just in time. And Roberta says, now that looks like a holder for many things. <laughs> that shape, yes. Also, don't you put on clean undies more often than you are... <laughs> yeah, right, right? <laughs> like, how many pairs of these will you need? Um, I've got enough bumps of my own. <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> why not just uh, uh, why not just a bandolier over the shoulders, right? Right? Yeah, something like like Chewbacca. Wear wear your tampons like <laughs> instead of a fanny pack. I am so glad I don't have the plumbing anymore, says Lori. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, okay, we all agree that you should not crochet these panties or any kind of feminine product. <laughs> it's just... It's just a big no. Please don't. Um, yeah. One thumbs down already. Oh, my God. <laughs> I gave a disclaimer. I told you guys. I told you guys don't watch if you can't handle it, right? So sorry. Um, when Fergie sang about her lovely lady, <laughs> I don't think this is what she meant. I don't think so either. Whew, okay, so um, yeah, tampons are off the screen. If you guys were looking away this whole time, you can look back now. Um, at least the panties look breezy, says <laughs> Alexandria. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so you guys, cheers. <laughs> it's not a bad idea for a single hidden pocket, though, but yeah, that is a bit much, right? Like, I don't know, crochet yourself a little pouch, put it in your bag. <laughs> Lacey saying one thumbs down looked like someone that is crocheting their own tampons. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Or maybe they're just in that time of the month. <laughs> And we're like, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, my husband came in to see. He thinks my yarning peeps are crazy like me. Well, he's right. <laughs> don't hide the truth from me. He's right. Uh, apart from the use, the panties look pretty. Yeah, well, the panties themselves look pretty good. I just don't get like, why would you like, just, you know, if you want to crochet panties, crochet panties. But why do they have to like have those lumps for tampons in them? Okay, no. Enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, okay, another disclaimer. I'm going to show a picture which may offend those of you who get offended easily. So if you do, you might want to turn your head away now. But since we were talking about feminine products and the reason why you shouldn't crochet yet them, um, that is correct for any kind of item that you might consider inserting into your parts. <laughs> so, if it was not clear 
and I can't stress this enough. <laughs> This is another item that you should definitely not crochet. <laughs> not for that purpose anyway. I mean, you can as a gag or like as a pencil case, but yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's a myth. No one wears those panties, those pretty undies that time of the month. No one will know. So, uh, where do we do, where do we go from here? <laughs> Says Mocha, like, where, can, where else can it go? <laughs> uh, this give granny panties a whole new meaning, says Kathleen. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my hell, I knew it, says Lacey. Oh god, please no, <laughs> says Madonna. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? I mean, this, this does not require any further words <laughs> it, it require no words <laughs> yeah baby maker for sure yeah i don't think that it's going to work <laughs> this Chris. um it's just a bottle cover that's the problem <laughs> well yeah you can cover your bottle in it no problem or use it for sex education no problem but just don't like actually try to you know use it <laughs> They missed the trick by not doing a lazy version of this one, says Scratch. Cotton is absorbent, but no, says Mocha. Um, yeah, if it gets cold. <laughs> is that made of wool heads, says Christy? Maybe, maybe it's a torture um, device. To make it for like a really itchy kind of yarn. <laughs> Pencil case. <laughs> right? Yeah, Alexandria, definitely no. <laughs> Dory is saying, well, if it is wool, it keeps some parts warm <laughs> during the winter time. Yes, a single crochet for her pleasure. <laughs> Kelly says it should be ripped. <laughs> um, Lacey saying crochets. We need to have a conversation. We don't need to crochet cozies for everything. Stick with cup cozies. <laughs> okay, thanks. Alice is saying, sadly, I've already used my one will it sag card for this live. I think, Alice, you might want to use it a few more times today, so I'm giving you, I'm giving you a pass. <laughs> to quote the Princess Bride, <laughs> that's gonna <sh> <laughs> My cheeks are hurting. Oh. What do you call folks who use a crochet condom? <laughs> Parents. That's it. Yeah, crochet joke. We made a crochet joke. <laughs> Looks like that mommy um, has been <laughs> breastfeeding for too long. <laughs> winter wear. <laughs> Lori. Lori says winter wear for the nudist in your life. And Julie is saying red heart scrubby or even sparkle scrubby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, guys. <sighs> I apologize for any, you know, family members who are watching or are like sitting next to someone watching this live i apologize <laughs> if you're sagging it will keep them oh my god uh, i i thought you guys would like that that item has been crocheted for a for a year. I'm 73, and this design has always been around. They call it a a pea warmer. Yeah, 
<laughs> but why? <laughs> That's a Christmas gift that an um <laughs> yeah, interfering mother-in-law <laughs> wants kids, right? <laughs> interfering mother-in-law in search for grandchildren. <laughs> I understood what you meant, Roberta. Yeah, yeah, it is. There are a lot of them, but I just thought it is worth mentioning that you can totally like use it other ways, but just don't like actually use it as a condom, please. <laughs> it will not work. Um, also, <laughs> just in case anyone is watching and actually needs to hear that, wasn't sure, thinks had the thought crossed their minds don't crochet any kind of sex toys okay that's all i'm gonna say um all right so i'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to catch your breath um <laughs> the next item on the list is not as funny so you know you can like calm down a little and you know prepare yourself for for the for the next big lap um but yeah i kind of had like i kind of felt like th these are like the biggest no no in crochet like don't <laughs> um so i i thought they were like they they needed to be the first ones to start with um Chris is saying, I think it would work if you walk in wearing that, you are not getting any. Well, it would work that way. Yes. <laughs> Sex toys, pillows are cute though. Yeah, you can totally crochet anything that like looks like or is this. Yeah, like, I don't know, butt plug, amigurumi, go for it. <laughs> but, but, but big... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, but you know, like the tampons, put some big safety eyes on it and a smile and it's a friendly butt plug pillow, but don't actually use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> great to understand uh, the true use of them, says Catherine. <laughs> Dude, we just needed to use them correctly. Thank you, Chris. Okay. So, if you joined in late, we're talking about things that should not be crocheted. Please, you know, don't... <laughs> don't get it wrong. Um, <laughs> please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Because we always have fun here, as you see. Um, and then if you want to join the membership program, the little join button down below next to the subscribe button will tell you everything you need to know about the membership program and how to join it, what it gives you and uh, what you give us in return. Um, also, uh, <laughs> I gave a disclaimer before and I said today's list is um, partly backed by, you know, scientific facts, but also some of it is my opinion of things that should not be crocheted, so please don't take anything personally. And if you are a person that gets offended easily, um, this chat might not be the place for you today. Um, you know, but that's it's my channel and I'm the dictator, so if you don't want to watch, you don't have to, but I did warn you guys in advance. Um, <clears throat> I unfortunately have to go now. I have to pick my daughter up. Okay, Kat, uh, have a nice evening. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. Catherine is saying, so is that what we will be making at the next member's chat? <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Um, <laughs> You, you kind of missed the uh, funny uh, beginning, but we have more to come. Um, what should be common sense, right? All right, so the next item I want to talk about, and once again, please don't anyone get offended. Uh, if you like to crochet something, you know, go ahead and crochet it. If you would like to wear something, go ahead and crochet it. This is just my opinion. Please don't, nobody, you know, take it personally. 
Yeah, common sense, exactly. <laughs> so, next thing I want to talk about is... Barefoot sandals. So, personally, personally, me, I don't get it. I mean, either you go barefoot or you don't. I mean, that's at least what I thought my entire life until I came across this baffling item. Um, Barefoot sandals, which is just a fancy way to say, like, ankle bra like a fancy ankle bracelet, right? Um, it, it's, they, they really serve no purpose other than, you know, being pretty, um, which makes them more of a, a, of a jewelry piece or like an, a fun accessory and not really a wearable. Um, they're not actually sandals. Now, um, taking into consideration what I just said, why would you knowingly put time and effort into making a jewelry piece whose purpose is to get dirty? I mean, they're made out of yarn, okay? Would you put um, sand mud, ocean water, salt water, uh, any kind of water, really, um, rubble, uh, grass, um, in your yarn? I, I mean, I, I wouldn't because, uh, it destroys it. Um, so, you know, why? Um, it would very easily get destroyed and Pretty much like the sole purpose of these is to wear them out where people see them. So like, I don't know, when you walk on the beach or something like that. So like, do you really want to crochet something that will then get mixed up with sand and salt water? And, you know, I don't, I don't know. And um, I, my personal opinion about these items are that they make great Instagram pictures and um, they give you a very weird tan on your feet. So, yeah. What are your thoughts about <laughs> barefoot sandals? Um, hi, Vijay. Vijay, good to see you. Um, or Vijay. Um, I was saying, Reggie, at this point, I think you should just have a viewer this discretion advisory <laughs> sign up. Yeah, that 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 would be a good idea. <laughs> um, right, foot jewelry. Uh, I walk around barefoot all the time. I think it's fun at the beach, says uh, Catherine. And Debbie says, oh my God, these were super popular in Hawaii in the 60s. Lacey saying, oh no, not the barefoot sandals. They're actually super cute for beach beach weddings. Um, Alice saying, I mean, cute, but limited opportunities, sandy beaches or sexy bedrooms only. Um, and Ursula saying, she thinks it's ornamental. Yeah, they are purely. Um, and they are super cute for chunky little baby feet photos right but they're only good for pictures um you could wear them with ballerinas says Catherine. that's an idea um i made a pair for my granddaughter's fairy costume okay is a costume i can get that too i think it would be nice as part of an inmate outfit <laughs> oh. I've made a bunch of these, my friend's bestseller at Craftfers. I don't get it either, says Madonna. Um, sorry, got to go again. Have a nice evening. Okay, thank you for being here, Sonia. Um, Ursula says she loves the idea of wearing them with ballerinas. Um, yeah, that, that might make more sense than just wearing them like that. Um, 
they're really not much different than an ankle bracelet. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. If you dare to walk barefoot there, then festivals. <laughs> um, I would, I wouldn't. Completely ornamental. I totally agree. Um, but then, like, why would you crochet something ornament? Like, put all the time and effort into it, and then like it gets destroyed. Love the barefoot sandals, but I can't wear anything like that. My feet are just too old, says Roberta. Um, also saying, I walk barefoot most of summer and this is pretty to wear on a clean wooden floor. Like inside the house? I wouldn't bother with this, says Lori. I've seen those made for babies. Really? What? Like, I think these are like foot lingerie. <laughs> And in that case, still possibly weird, says Lori. Um, Mandabug Craft says, I started a pair but never finished them. The plan was to wear them with my costume for a belly dancing. Well, well that makes sense, okay? So, like, if you perform with them on stage, it's one, play, one thing. But, like, to walk with them on the beach and have them, like, exposed to the elements. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can go pretty much anywhere barefoot in south africa shops groceries restaurants i know several people who hardly wear any shoes really um foot lingerie <laughs> you love that says Catherine. opex says idea <laughs> bear barefoot sandals oh my god <laughs> To be fair, I have a pair of sandals that look similar, says Mocha. Um, but if they have like a bottom, I get that. But like, because when you wear, go barefoot on the sand, on the beach, it's, I don't get it. Um, you say weird, I say temporary, t <laughs> Catherine is saying, you say weird suntan, I say temporary tattoo. <laughs> That's a way to look at it too. I'm not sure it was a beginner class and they never mentioned that I can remember. Oh, oh, about the belly dancing. Um, <laughs> Alice is saying, yep, I'm in the Hobbit <laughs> Feet Club too. <laughs> Hi, Anita, welcome in. Hey, a matching pair of these and that sexy tampon belt underwear <laughs> might be a runway material. Oh my god. If those are worn together somewhere on the runway, I can put them in one of my crochet on the runway episodes. <laughs> Lori saying, just looking at that loop around the toe is making my feet itchy, <laughs> right? I, I don't think they're comfortable. Those might work with the um, honorary Florida State shoe, the flip-flop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Manabog, did you dance individually in class or in a group? You did tribal for a year. I did belly dancing for years before I left Israel. Um, I was in a class, like a group class. I never did performance. Well, actually, I did once. Um, but, um, yeah. But I love it. I love it. I haven't had a chance to go back to it, but I love it. Um... Hi, Tammy from Twisted Stitches. Hi, beautiful. Love those barefoot sandals. They're popular with Florida brides getting married on the beach. Yeah, but you wear them on the beach and then they get destroyed. I mean, okay. Okay, guys, I gotta, sh I gotta show you another picture, okay? So just so that you'll get wh where I'm coming from. So again, don't nobody take this the wrong way. I'm going to show you a picture. This is from Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Now, Nadia is a great designer, wonderful person. I love her channel. I love her blog. There is no dispute about how good of a designer she is. But look at this picture. Why would you put this peacock feather and then walk with it on a rubbly kind of riverbank. And then, like, all you're going to end up with is a soggy, wet peacock feather that would be destroyed by the water and the rubble. And, like, and then she, you know, took all the time and effort to put these little beads on the... 
Sorry. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, hey, Jax, welcome in. Thanks for being here. I showed your shawl before. Uh, hi, Lisa. Cute if you like to go barefoot. Um, wedding outfit is many times a one-time wear. Yeah. <laughs> I wore mine twice, but I I did get married twice to the same man, so that's okay. <laughs> um, all right, thanks for being here, Lori. Thank you for coming by. Um, I think the green ones are cute because, well, I love hippies, says Chris. <laughs> you feel those pebbles. Um, those giant hoods that cover the whole head uh super comfortable says cindy i'm not sure what we're talking about cindy those are super pretty but that looks like a creek they will never be the same if you go in that water right right um right your man slave carry you to the river right right you don't have to like Exactly. That is exactly what I'm saying. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. <laughs> Ursula, that is totally fine. I am not... I to That's what the disclaimer was for. Um, I will give you this one. It's probably just for the picture, but it really isn't much work. No, it's not, but still. Not practical with the feather, though, but the beads work. I totally get it, says Tammy. Seems as if many of us crafters make things that never get more than one use. Oh, Tammy, if you came in late and did not see the first part of the live where we talked about crochet tampons, you gotta go watch the replay. Um, yeah, with those pebbles, no way she walked to the right. Um, oh, okay. I get it, Cindy. Thank you. Um, yeah, what not to crochet those head masks. Okay, got it. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, maybe for a photo shoot, but I don't get it either, says um, Alice. Right? The mall feels she... Yeah, right. Her toes look distressed, says um, Alexandria. Yeah, exactly, Anita. What is a good question? But uh, I'm afraid you're gonna have to go and watch a replay because we had a huge laugh here <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, like I said, I gave you guys a disclaimer. This is like what... Yeah. Um, crochet tampons? No, no. Yes. OMG, I will totally watch the replay. Crochet tampons. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who missed the beginning, you gotta go watch the replay. Those barefoot sandals would be great for boudoir photos. Yeah, right? So there's like something they will be good for, but I wouldn't like actually wear them as barefoot sandals. Like I, I don't know. I like to go barefoot too, but they will just get... It's like making something in order to destroy it. They look good for Instagram. That's what I said before. Like they are wonderful for Instagram shots, but nothing other than that. Um... Right? Yeah. If you came in late, today's replay is definitely worth a uh, watch. Okay, so... Um, agree to disagree on the barefoot sandals. Some of us uh, love them, some of us don't, some of them like to wear them, some of us don't. Me, personally, like I said, I love going barefoot, but I just don't see, like, myself putting time into making something so nice and then going with it on like a sandy or rubbly kind of beach or a creek like we just saw in the picture or going in any kind of water in it, like definitely not salt water. It will just, I don't know. I don't think those are like more than a one use kind of item. Um, all right. Next things that you should not um, crochet. And this one is actually backed by scientific facts and like it has an actual reason why you should not crochet it so maybe you learned something today that you didn't know before um wait uh <laughs> i guess you did was busy playing on oh that's okay my niece's first boyfriend dumped her <laughs> and my nephew 
game oh wait i thought you meant he's du he dumped her on you okay no that was not funny your niece's first boyfriend dumped her and my nephew gaming friend blocked him oh i'm so sorry i thought for a second there i thought you were saying they dumped someone on you that's why i thought it was funny then i realized what you were saying not funny at all of course you know we all have our lives it's totally fine that's what the replay is for um in jewelry making or beading i see a lot of pieces that look great but can really be worn yes that is correct they look cute but wearing them would annoy me says julie and sandrine hi um if you can crochet tampons do you throw it away or ah we had that whole discussion <laughs> um well Catherine, go sit in the corner <laughs> no i'm kidding come on all right so next thing like i said um this is something that you really like please you just don't okay um and i am talking about wait for it chicken sweaters yes that is a thing <laughs> Um, there is a big why factor here, indeed. Um, and, but, you know, while it's perfectly understandable that you would want to keep your chickens warm during the cold times, I mean, I have chickens, I know I had that uh, thought too, but a little, you know, Google research has put my mind at ease. Um, so, just so you know, making sweaters or hats, for that matter, uh, for your chicken uh, is not a good way to go. Um, the reason, as I've said, completely scientific, uh, biological. Um, while the optimal temperature for chicken is anywhere between 18 and 24 degrees Celsius, uh, they are perfectly comfortable in temperatures uh, down to uh, 4 and 7 degrees Celsius. And they will do just fine in temperatures um, that are below freezing and even below zero. So you see, chickens, uh, they, they stay warm with a biological logical mechanism um and so but they really don't need you to crochet them that in fact um the way they stay warm is um by fluffing up their feathers when it's cold outside to trap air uh in the down uh so their downy feathers trap tiny pockets of air uh next to their body and then their body heat heats up that air and so their body heat combined with those warm air bubbles keep the chicken warm during the cold times so when you crochet them a sweater you're and and make them wear it you're actually preventing the feathers that under the sweater from being able to do that and you're actually making them colder um so you see, <laughs> you really should not um, crochet any kind of product to keep your chickens warm. Um, it, it just uh, disturbs their uh, natural mechanism and essentially, as I've said, making them uh, colder than they would be without the sweater. Um, plus, uh, it looks really stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, let's see what you guys said. Um, yeah, oh gosh, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Tammy says she must make one. No, Tammy, don't, don't. They, uh, the whole point is you should not crochet that. Um, <laughs> Ursula is saying, oh no, it feels like now I've seen it all. <laughs> Why in the world? Yeah, exactly. Um, putting on socks for the uh, first time every fall is always a moment for me, says Francie. Um, yeah, chickens in jumpers, right? <laughs> yes. um, Alice is saying, well, this one I can see a point. There are some... Uh, charities that use little sweaters for birds that have uh lost their feathers especially after abuse situations then maybe it makes sense uh let's not start the chicken diaper discussion <laughs> again says Catherine. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah uh 
that looks weird yes it does tell the truth did you find this <laughs> while looking for things to crochet for your chicken says Ofek. um yeah <laughs> i did of course i did i have chickens i wanted to crochet something for them and then you know i realized you, sh you really shouldn't wonder how many times they go packed <laughs> putting the sweater down. <laughs> yeah right um and definitely no chicken sandals <laughs> um i have a cousin who swears by these says madonna not for warmth but to keep her hands from being wounded by the roosters oh yeah um if you only put it on them for that reason it might make sense um but then you know take them off afterwards because it's quite dangerous um ah, i see a brother is in here <laughs> yes he is <laughs> my brother is here um lisa is saying wow we raised chicken in michigan all year round that is no right uh john is saying it disturbs them and it is disturbing <laughs> yes yes it disturbs the chicken and it is disturbing in general oh dear uh <laughs> right um uh yeah um when my husband retires next year, uh, he wants chickens and want to take them for walks. Um, I don't know about taking them for walks, but... Uh... <laughs> um... All right, Alice, see you soon. Uh, Ofik, we don't have turtles to crochet for. Oh, that's on the list too. <laughs> um... thank you Catherine um Roberta is saying I don't have a chicken I quilt blankets and pillows for my little Jack Russell um and and Minpin I don't know why they sleep in the bed well yeah um dogs is something else uh but for chickens it's actually um like it's not healthy for them uh, unless, like uh, someone mentioned before, they don't have feathers, like if they were abused or lost their feathers for any reason, then it might make sense. Um, right, that's what dogs are for. <laughs> the, I have not seen the chicken stroller. I have seen a chicken bag, uh, like a bag backpack where you can put your chicken in when you go on, like, I don't know, hikes. <laughs> I don't think Jesse would like a sweater at all. <laughs> yes, that is what siblings are for. Making their other siblings, uh, you know, feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah, so just so you know, it is a thing. Like, people actually do, like, make things for their chickens. Like, um, sweaters of different kinds. Uh, this specific one uh all your potter heads here in the chat might appreciate <laughs> and while it's uh perfectly cool as a harry potter item it is definitely not cool as a chicken item so you know just don't um jazzy would look dazzling with a crochet beret i'm not sure he would like it but it might look good on instagram <laughs> um Hello, Stephanie! Can't wait to catch the beginning on replay. Yes, uh, you should, because today's beginning was hilarious. <laughs> uh, if you came in late, you totally want to. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, everyone. Right? Hufflepuff chicken. How, like... Hufflepuff Jesus. It doesn't get better than that. Ah, it's pretty funny. The stroller looks like a cage with wheels and a handle. Oh my god, you can take your chicken wherever you want. Um... In case um, you were wondering, people actually make them hats too. Yeah, I don't think you should though. Welcome back, Alice. That's a lot of work for your chicken, uh, says Debbie. So was the tampon the first thing discussed? Yes, Anita. The first thing we talked about today was the <laughs> crochet tampons, uh, feminine products uh, etc and then we talk about barefoot sandals and now we're talking about chicken sweaters 
or hats and why really um, you should not crochet in them and not just because they look silly um, but because they're actually not good for your chickens um yeah alice um uh, uh hardly dramatic Catherine totally got him right <laughs> that look that does look ridiculous <laughs> it's a it's a chicken pot pie <laughs> no <laughs> oh, right um <laughs> it's adorable. Again, it's nice for pictures, but like I, the chicken does not look happy at all. Like, look at her. She's like, I am a miserable cupcake. <laughs> no. Um. If if that one you know didn't convince you, then maybe this one will. Um. Maybe if you really need to crochet winter wear for chicken, make an amigurumi chicken you can play dress up with, right? Yes, yes, you know, if you feel a deep need to crochet things for chickens, like make yourself an amigurumi chicken and then make them different things. <laughs> Jana is saying, oh no, the hat is too much, like the sweater wasn't. <laughs> Um, my dog is losing a lot of hair, says Francie. He has uh, food allergies or a, a slow thyroid. I would hate it if if he had to wear clothes this winter. I hope he feels better soon. I hope so too, Francie. That's too funny, says Sandrine. Little clock on the prairie. <laughs> yes, right. Little clock on the prairie. That is so wrong, says Linda. What? <laughs> right? Um, chicken is clearly saying, I want the royalties on the pictures. <laughs> oh, oh no, Francie, I hope it gets better. So yeah, I hope so too. Um, those are some big pom-poms for that little chicken, says Anita. <laughs> And Lacey is saying, oh my gosh, I know that we should not be putting hats on chickens, but that is such a world I want to live in. Chickens who wear little hats. <laughs> Maybe this was just a funny photo shoot. I hope so. Um, it helps that these chickens are pretty, but doesn't help much. <laughs> Mocha is saying so the bonnet is what really caused Chicken Little to run around screaming <laughs> uh, that chicken wants to speak to the manager <laughs> chicken wants uh, you guys are too much oh, I love this bunch <laughs> Yes, that is some wild stuff. And, you know, just because I really like it, I'm going to put that first picture back again. That one made my day when I found it. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh, hysterical. Um, they're like, <laughs> just make me into your dinner already. I can't live like this. <laughs> Also, are we sure this isn't a guy chicken? No, we can't be really sure. It might be. <laughs> I just assumed because of their fashion sense that they are female. But it might also be a rooster. Although they didn't have a little thing. I don't know. I don't have roosters. I only have chickens, so I don't know. <sighs> All right. All right. Um, Chicken Little wouldn't have been worried about the sky falling if he was wearing that, right? <laughs> it was, we would have other things to worry about. <laughs> Yesterday, they, they didn't have a choice. <laughs> right. But yeah, again, um, as I was saying, uh, do not crochet things for your chickens it's just um it's bad for them like there's an actual scientific biological reason why you shouldn't do that so don't unless it's like for a 
very short moment for your picture to get a lot of likes <laughs> but then again like maybe you shouldn't because i don't think the chickens like it um that chicken hat is so cute though my dog wouldn't wear hats oh, my dog wouldn't wear anything what little thingy did you look for reggie um well i don't know <laughs> i don't know a lot about roosters i only have chickens and i didn't know a lot about them either before i got them yeah and i only got them because my husband insisted <laughs> maybe they are non birdie birds <laughs> socks are great um the biggest thing is getting him to wear them oh the 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 dog i think miko needs a bonnet says catherine and anita said could you imagine crocheting a sweater for an elephant now that's an idea <laughs> um i don't have an elephant yet but <laughs> <laughs> and rightly so anita and rightly so um okay so yeah chicken sweaters uh don't make them um now we have a, a few more items on the list but before i continue talking about them um I wouldn't want to put the sweater on the elephant, right? <laughs> um, so, every week, uh, you guys know, every week we have a giveaway on the Yarn University. And the way it works is, if you're new here, I'm going to explain how it works. The way it works is, um, once the live is over and the video goes into replay, you come back to the video and you leave a comment down below. And in the comment, uh, you leave down below uh you you answer a question that i asked so um i'm going to ask you guys other than what we are going to talk about well we're not done yet yeah so at the end of today's live when you come back to the video i want you to comment down below and tell me some things that we did not talk about on the live um that you think or you know for different reasons should not be crocheted um, and that would be uh, the comment that you leave down below to enter into this week's giveaway and next week on your university we will choose the winner for that so this week's giveaway um, you will be winning this case um, and inside it of course um, this is an interchangeable light up crochet hook do you see that there are different heads different uh sizes and this is sorry life is right here this is the handle and there's a little button there to turn on the light and you charge it with that cable so it's a rechargeable battery um and that is today's giveaway so in order to enter what you do is once the live is over and it goes back into replay you come back to the video leave a comment down below and tell us what are some other things other than what we talked about on the live um, that you should not crochet in your opinion and next week on your university we'll choose a winner and if you didn't yet go back to last week's year university to comment uh with the answer that a question at with the answer to the question i asked last week you still have until the end of today's year university before we choose the winner from that um post those chicken couture pictures on instagram with it don't try this at home disclaimer says Lori. um reggie i've been here listening watching on tv all right hi <laughs> good that you're here um it's genie right did i get that right um hi Jeanette from doi Crea creations good to see you um Alice, red is pretty natural. No, the cupcakes, maybe not so much. Um, and then I think that's so cool. Don't have anything like that. Wonderful prize. Oh, that is different, says Alice. Uh, would be helpful while I'm waiting for my carpool ride after work at night. Yes, light up hooks. I have that hook set, said Mocha. She really, really likes it. I have one too, and I really like it. Um, I would, I definitely recommend it. Um,
One second, you guys. Okay. Um, Genie, all right. Yeah, good. I got it right. Um, hi, Deb. Welcome in. All right. So, um, showed you guys, uh, the thing for this week's giveaway, told you guys how to enter and what the question is. Um, yeah, if you came in late, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And, um, if you want to join the membership program, the little join button down below next to the subscribe button, um, and you'll get a rundown of everything uh, you need to know in order to become a member, uh, what it takes from you and what you get in return. Um, we are talking about things that you should not uh, crochet. Some of them are like actual scientific reasons why you shouldn't be crocheting them. And some of them are just my personal opinion. I gave you guys a disclaimer in the beginning and I said, please don't take anything I say today personally. And it's totally fine if you don't agree with me. Um, this is not set out to offend anyone, but this is my channel and I'm the dictator. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Um, yeah, I, I hit him. I, I did like a hide user on channel. I don't know how long that works for, but I hope, um, yeah, I get, I have a thumbs down and a troll. So I think that sort of like means I made it. <laughs> I'm in the YouTube like club of successful YouTubers. I don't know. <laughs> like I have trolls. I have thumbs down. Awesome. Um, <laughs> what does my t-shirt say? My t-shirt? It says Dizigual. It's the brand. Wait. Uh. It says Desigual. That's the 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 brand that uh, that made this T-shirt. It's one of my favorite brands to buy clothes from. Um, two thumbs down. Oh wow, nice! <laughs> I really made it. Um, right. Cheers to the first troll. Oh. Oh, get this! I'm cheering to a troll with a hobgoblin. <laughs> that only made me laugh, right? I know, Tammy, I know. I actually said that on my uh, crochet on YouTube uh, live. So thumbs downs or interactions, they count just the same. I don't mind. But if you have haters, that means you made it. So yay. <laughs> um, I offended the trolls. Maybe I offended the trolls by drinking hobgoblin. <laughs> okay. So, um, next item on the list. Um, sweet irony. Uh, you had your first troll last week. Oh, yay. You should be proud. All this time, I thought your shirt said Doritos. <laughs> I found Apple Mountain Dew. It's amazing. Really? I We don't have Mountain Dew. That's why you summoned him with your beer, right? Nah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that. Okay, so uh, next thing I want to talk to you about, and Catherine mentioned this before, and I don't think like she mentioned it by chance. Um, I think uh, at some point we all maybe have uh, have seen this. Um, plus, you know, it's the, um, it's the thumbnail of today's live, but, uh, yeah, another thing that you should not crochet or 
Like, you really shouldn't. Is, um, total shell, <laughs> turtoise shell covers. Um, yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> it exists. Uh, and much like uh, barefoot sandals, <laughs> Uh, this is an item that really serves no purpose other than uh, making a good Instagram picture, uh, getting you some followers and, you know, serving your own amusement. Um, turtles are actually cold-blooded reptiles, so uh, they must have access to heat source uh, such as the sunlight or special heat lamps like UV lamps um, using different heat sources like that uh, they can regulate their own body temperatures so blankets and shell covers don't really serve any purposes with turtoids they don't actually kick them or make them warm in fact um, there's a bigger chance of them just annoying the turtoids more than actually you know doing anything for it so um, don't fool yourself <laughs> uh, by saying you're crocheting something for your turtoise. You're actually just uh, doing it for your own amusement and to get a few more likes and hearts uh, on social media posts. Um, your pet uh, probably does not appreciate as much as you do. So just saying. If you love your pet, you probably don't want to do something that's annoying them. Um, we knew you'd make it. Thank you. <laughs> right? That little dude looks uh, totally badass, though, says Kathleen. Um, the look on the cat's face, he agrees with me, right? He's like, why is he wearing that? Um, he's slow. He couldn't get away from it. <laughs> Poor turtle. Uh, it's going to move at snail pace now, right? Um totally uh no purpose except uh pissing off your pets right can't wait to read the comments uh for this live it's going to be entertaining to hear the answers for my question yeah i think so too um <laughs> that's a hero in a half shell <laughs> right um these ones work best when they're shaped like a giant spider and worn by a dog, <laughs> says Alice. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure it annoys the dog as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tonight on Yarniversity, <laughs> crochet animal abuse. Right? Like, don't... It's your pet. Your pet, you should love it and, like, cherish it and, and hug it and cuddle it. I mean, it's a turtle. I don't know how cuddly it is. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not as cuddly as crochet tampons. But, you know, it's, like, don't. It's a poor turtle. Um, I think that turtle must think my owner has lost her mind and I'm paying the bill. Yeah, definitely um that specific turtle was by the way uh is like <laughs> is a serial abusee um the owner of that turtle is has uh, an instagram account and a blog and she constantly crocheted different um uh costumes for her tortoise um if turtle costumes are wrong i don't want to be right <laughs> said lacy <laughs> Uh, Lori says, not to mention that cat looks like, that looks like a fun new yarn toy, right? <laughs> um, that cat is figuring out he's next. <laughs> yes, he's like, oh, oh, what's coming? Um, everyone knows Purple Prefer, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, Chris? Everybody knows Turtle Prefer le uh, leather or lace. <laughs> Happy, happy anniversary, young lady. Congratulations. Hope to get many, many more, says Sylvia. Thank you. Uh, it's still coming. Um, back in the day, rescue centers used to request these for damaged shells, but now they 3D print them. Oh, wow. Like to, um, to, to repair, like, for turtles who had like damaged shells, they used to dress them in crochet. I mean that again, that's like that crochet sags and stuff like that. It makes way more sense to uh, 3D print it. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, well, dogs signed up for life with humans. They know that, right? They knew what were what they getting into. Um, or shall I say, no, that cat is thinking, are you okay? So sorry, I can't help you, my turtle friend. Yeah, it's like, I'm so sorry, friend. Why, why is this happening? Right? Like, why? That's just wrong. And then again, I also have, you know, the picture uh, that you guys all saw um, as the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> I think, I think at that point, that turtle is just like, I wish they were actual wings and I can fly far, far away from here. Um, <laughs> okay, Anita, see you soon. Lacey saying, I think that these cute little costumes could actually serve a good purpose by taking cute pictures of them on animals in shelters that need a... Uh, forever home yeah but like i said other than like putting it on and taking a picture and taking it off it really serves no purpose and like don't just like let your pet walk around with it because again you're only doing it for your own amusement and your cat is not actually getting anything out of it um well yes but not check to styles just for protection and it was before 3d yeah no i get it <laughs> this guy has identity issues, <laughs> says Alice. <laughs> oh, poor territories. <laughs> Ursula is saying she saw that and was looking for the eagle's head. Looked like an eagle was... Oh, it looked like the eagle was having turtle for lunch. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe the eagle would prefer... Maybe the... Um, turtle would have preferred that but yeah don't um don't crochet uh turtle shell covers yeah um just don't um all right so the next thing wait let's see um Oh, I agree. These costumes, while insanely cute, they could actually be dangerous uh, to the animal if they are unattended. Yes, exactly. That is true, Lacey. And if it's just for the picture and they don't leave it on on them all the time, it's okay, says Catherine. Sylvia saying, happy, happy anniversary. And I hope you have many more. And you look very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um... Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> and there's still time until um, Yarniversity Yarniversary, and I hope that you will all attend. Um, the poor little guy can't even touch the ground, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so next thing. Um, now, that next thing that I'm going to show you. Um, again, before I say it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, that is so cool. Um... But then you got to give it a second thought. And that's, you know, what we're going to talk about. Um, and I guarantee that when you guys see it, uh, probably a, a large number of you um, would think the same. Like, oh my God, where can I get it? Oh, that is adorable. Oh, I have to, I have to have it. Oh my God, that's my me, 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 me. But give it a second thought, think about what I'm saying about it, and then decide if you really want to, you know, spend your money on it, if you're buying it, or time on it, if you're going to try to make it yourself. So, here is something that exists. <laughs> yeah, that is crochet nail art. Now again, I said, you're going to see it and you're going to be like, oh my God. Um, oh my God, Maria, you have to go back and watch the replay. Uh, the beginning of this live was hilarious. Uh, how much have you missed? About two thirds. And um, you definitely have to go back and watch the live. <laughs> um, so yeah crochet nail art again wow amazing that is so cool oh 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 now guys 
These are crocheted fake nails. Yes, they exist. It's not a joke. And people actually make them. People also sell them. So like I said, if you don't want to, you know, take the time, make them yourself, you can buy them. Um, but more disturbingly is people who actually wear them. Um, fake nails to glue on your own nails, uh, you know, for fans of crochet or fans of granny squares or just people who like some kind of weird conversation starter. <laughs> um, but to be honest, the nails themselves, um, they are a work of art. They should be acknowledged as such, but wearing them is a whole different story. They are not at all practical. Think what we said about barefoot sandals and now think about what you do with your day, with your hands through the day. And do you really want to have crochet items involved in all those things that you do with your hands during the day? Um, if you do put them on, you need to avoid during literally everything <laughs> in order to not destroy them after, I don't know, half an hour that you have them on. Um, so, you know, let's think about it for a minute. Um, the first reaction of, oh my God, these are so cool, needs a second thought, uh, stop before you buy. Um, this is a clear case of just because you can doesn't necessarily mean you should. Um, the nail art version of Nails Against the Chalkboard, yes. Um, Doris is saying, yard is done, didn't even seem like work. All right, I'm glad we could uh, make it fun for you. Yes, the beginning was off the chain. I totally agree. Uh, is that stuck on with paint, with glue? Yeah, with glue. Um, she has people wash dishes and clean houses for her. That is crazy, right? Uh, otherwise, like, she can't do anything. As a nail tech and crocheter, I have to say no, says Maria. Ick, says Madonna. Lacey says, I think of all the places your fingers go through the... Yeah, right? <laughs> um... And uh, Tammy is saying, no, I do the nail art, but over the acrylic. Um, Chris is saying, I could see tiny crochet nail art about half this size embedded in gel or clear coat, but these, no. Um, they are thread. And there's a lady who actually makes them and sells them, and I put the link to her shop on the blog if anyone is interested in actually buying them. Um, Lita is saying she doesn't like long nails at all, and that looks painful, says Alice. Um, that's taking it too far, says Deb, and Lisa says maybe 3D print the nails. Yeah, maybe. Um, Tammy is saying, yes, Chris, that's what I should have said. Uh, have acrylic or gel overlay. Um... How do you open a soda can with the... I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> How do you go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> How do you finish going to the bathroom? That, that's, uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Linda says, think of the bacteria they collect. Exactly, right? And uh, Alice is saying, I'm a piano teacher. Any students who come to me with nails like that, I think I would have to disown them. <laughs> Uh, Catherine is saying, Laura, I, can, I can't open cans with my regular gels, <laughs> right? Um, they need to come with rubber gloves or, I don't know, then, like, if you have to wear gloves over them, why would you get them? Mocha is saying, I actually love some of these. The ones I have are uh, glued to a clear nail, so there aren't any actual holes. Also, um, they're... Lacquered so the yarn isn't exposed. Yeah, that makes sense, but these don't <laughs> um, Also just for the record these are not nicely shaped says Maria <laughs> Just a no says Debbie Kevin saying I'm sorry, but they don't look like nail art It's just something glued on a nail very messy work. I'll take the lace transfer. Thank you very much <laughs> 
FYI, I don't buy them. Uh, they were a gift, says Mocha. Okay. Uh, we won't blame you then. Um, but yeah, he, she also has them uh, in black. <laughs> you know, if you're really interested. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't... Like, they don't... They... They are not practical in any way and other than, again, making a very nice picture or something that will get a lot of likes on Instagram and people will go, wow, that is amazing. But like other than that, they they don't do much for me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Cheers. These kind of look a little goth, right? These, the black ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Anita, uh, we are talking crochet nail art. Yes. Do you, uh, you know, thoughts? <laughs> thoughts on, on that. Um, these are a no for me, says Mocha. Find them, uh, I find them equally appealing as the fur nails. Oh my god, I cannot believe this was a trend. The fur nails, that made no sense at all. Yes, goth, but no, 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 says Kim. <laughs> Looks silly, yeah, I agree. As a nurse, it's a pass for me, says Alexandria. I'm glad we all agree on that. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> no. Um, Tammy's saying, these pics are a no. I mean, could crochet a cute flower or whatever and use them as art under the gel. Yeah, that makes sense. But this is too much. Uh, Dory is saying, they're good for a Halloween witch costume. I might consider that. <laughs> Um, that'd be fun for a special occasion or costume party, but not for daily wear. Yeah, but like other than if it's a costume, like if it's a, because if it's a daily wear, like what would you wear with these? What will, this don't even fit anything, right? Like what dress does this go with? Um, that'd be fun for a special occasion. Yeah, um, they would not be half bad if they were tapered at the tip and the area near the oh the do you say cuticle i'm not sure how to read that word but i understand it's like the bottom here was better shaped um to not be so square yeah i mean i think that's the the problem because they are like they're granny squares um you could change them to earrings says deb oh add them to the sandal and tampon belt outfit for the runway <laughs> yes oh my god yes yes the crochet nails with the tampon underwear and the sandals um on the runway and like walk them down i don't know like some big like d and g or something like that runway and then i will put them on our crochet on the runway episode and we will all laugh <laughs> Um, yes, as earrings, you are going somewhere, Deb. Um, Morticia Adams would love them. Yes, yeah. Oh, that, see, that, maybe they're good for something. <laughs> they uh, look boxy and uncomfortable, says Alexandria. Debbie says, Reggie, you need to make this for your hat ensemble for Halloween. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Cuticle. Cuticle. Hmm. Thank you, Ursula. Okay, so we are all a pass for the nail art. I am very happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so no on that. Um, next thing that uh, I wanted to, to um, show you, I need one second. Wait, wait. So, for the next thing I wanted to show you, I need to... No, why is it like this? Okay, I need to show you a short video first. Um, 
crocheted panties, sandals, and nails. And the model is holding a chicken with a sweater under one arm and a turtle with a hat in the other. <laughs> it's a great look, Mocha. <laughs> All right, so for um, the next uh, thing I want to talk about, I need to show you a short video. So everyone look at your screen because I'm only going to show it once. Now we're not going to discuss the tremendous fail in this video. Um, but I mean, that's not the point of the video, but uh, just take a look with me real quick, okay? So everyone has their weight. Let me put it in the middle so you can all... Uh, I can't. Okay. Is that good? I hope you all see. So... so yeah. Keep your loved one cozy this winter. Volkswagen. Yeah. Now, let's ignore for a second that uh, Volkswagen couldn't tell their crochet from knitting um, and discuss uh, making outside covers for your car. Um, and it's all on a crochet leash. <laughs> OMG, yarn bombing the car. Yeah, but like, you know. Knit hat crochet car, right? Yeah, big, big fail. Um, someone at... Clearly people at Volkswagen do not crochet or knit. So like, why, why is the car covered in crochet and then he's knitting? No, okay. Let's put that aside for a second because that's like not the point. Um, yes, it would be cool for a community yarn bomb event, um, for the festival, yes, but, um, as a whole, like, for, for an actual cover for your car, um, you should not cover the outside of your car in crochet, like, as a permanent thing, like, as a... To to protect it kind of thing, you know? Um, hi, Verna. That guy did not know how to knit for sure, says uh, Ursula. It goes along with the check your crocheters meme with the full jumpsuit. Yeah. Their community officers need to be fired. <laughs> Their continuity officer, yeah. Exactly. OMG, I just saw this video this week. A lady covered her car in a rug, then had chia seed growing on it. Oh my god! Um, by the time I finish a car cover, a car will be terribly dirty. Yes! And... Oh! We have a new member! Yay! Cheers to Janice! Cheers! Welcome, new member! Welcome! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Cheers! Yes, he was knitting the mirror covers, but the rest of the car was crocheted. <laughs> yeah, he did not know how to knit, that is uh, for sure. I couldn't watch, I saw knitting needles in my eyes automatically close as Madonna. <laughs> That's the best excuse to never wash your car again, says Catherine. <laughs> Volkswagen gets point for bucking gender norms though, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, um, again, cool idea if it was backed and then rinsed and clear coated. Yes, but um, whoever does the research needs to go. <laughs> it's a crochet version of the Scooby Doo mystery van, says Anita. And Debbie's saying, talk about the static that could catch your car, right? Um, I took a microbiology class one time and among other disturbing things I learned, car handles are dirtier than toilet handles. So there's that, yeah. <laughs> there's a lady on Instagram that made a car cover for her Volkswagen van. 
there are a lot of people who cover uh, their car in crochet i think it's just meant to be a cute joke um will it sag fits here perfectly Lori. yes so but really people so let's be serious for a second commercial aside um making like covers for your car that are crochet or knit for that matter that are made out of any kind of yarn okay that's you know that is the actual point here um and i'm not talking about the cute uh you know festival uh thing or the like kind of as a joke thing or the the like in general, like if you cover your car in crochet and either drive around in it or just put the covers on at night to, to like protect your car or something, you really sh should not. And there are like reasons for that. So no matter how many pictures like this you see on social media or how many times you watch this commercial, do not be tempted to cover the outside parts of your car in crochet. Um, things which cover outside of cars are exposed to the elements and also need to be able to withstand a very large variety of weather conditions, not to mention the occasional bird poo. <laughs> um, so most crochet items that are made with normal yarn, you know, acrylic, wool, cotton, etc., um, they just don't fit those criteria. There's a reason why different accessories for your car are made out of certain materials. Um, there's people whose job is actually to test these materials and to make sure they are up to measure and up to standards. Um, so like there's like a real reason why you should not uh, crochet things to, to put on your car and leave them on your car uh, for a long time. And if you really feel like you must have some crochet in your car, uh, maybe stick to the inner parts of it, you know, seat covers, seat belt covers, um, maybe something to, you know, hang on your mirror or like, like, cup holders or something like that but keep in mind that again the conditions inside your car when it is parked and unconditioned uh, are not really ideal to say the least um so you know the wear and tear of such items placed inside a car not to mention on the outside of it uh should play a big factor here um so like really don't <laughs> Um, let's see what oh, you guys are saying. A lot. Um, right? Laura is saying I'd be afraid a bird would poop on it. Um, there's a way to, uh, that's way too expensive and time consuming to be a joke, says Lacey. What if a cat wanted to use it as a scratch patch? Yeah, exactly. Now, a sticker of crochet on a car would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, see, that would be awesome. Uh, Dory saying, who knows, maybe Volkswagen discovered a new blocking technique. <laughs> um, Alex is saying, also, I don't know about anyone else, but advertising to crocheters seem like a pointless endeavor. Uh, we're too busy crocheting to drive anywhere. <laughs> um no actually mercer rides cotton it, it could work but it wouldn't hold long um i could crochet my car handle during our 100 degrees days um says debbie we can burn our oh we can burn our hair so so that would be useful you're saying okay i get it um wow that works Wow, the work, says Kathleen. Great target for birds to poo on, says Anita. Uh, would be unique if this was a custom paint job, right? Um, that one looks... A Kong estate. Yeah. Um, 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 my chat keeps jumping up. One second. Okay. Um, Maria says, oh, that's a cool idea. And Helen is saying hello. Hello to Helen. Catherine is saying, I honestly think this counts as art, not util, not utilitary. Yeah. I, uh, uh, where was I? Lori says, I'm sort of tempted to do this uh, to the 
to the junker my neighbor has in his driveway. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting solution. Um, Lita is saying, what should I do with my scrap yarn? Oh, make a cotton cover. <laughs> um, the radiator is covered. That is not good. Yeah, in generally, it's just not good there is a really good reason why car covers are made the way they do they are from the materials they are made if you really feel a need um to crochet something for the outside of your car like if they really you cannot do without it um then there's like a there's a pattern online i linked it in the blog uh to do this spare wheel granny cover so if you have like if your if your car is the kind of car that has this kind of spare wheel hanging outside and you want to like cover it in crochet, that is a nice idea. But again, you have to take into consideration the whole will it sag versia. Yeah. Um, if you make this, um, and I'm telling you right now, if you do go to the blog and and click on the link and go to the pattern, you will see that they made it out of a yarn that I really do not recommend making it out of. Um, if you do make something to cover uh, part of the outside of your car, uh, use 100% nylon yarn, um, nothing else. That is the only thing that will actually, you know, hold for a long while. And I wouldn't recommend anything else. Um, that's cute, says Alice. Hi, Lucky3. Welcome in. Uh, wombat waste of money, <laughs> brains and time, says Kathleen. Um, that's cute for the spare tire, says Debbie. I just hope it doesn't get too hot. That tire will blow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like there, I, I started by saying there are reasons why things that are made for your car, uh, much like, you know, when I said, um, <laughs> there are things... Uh, like when we spoke in the beginning about feminine products, we said they are made out of certain things for a reason. So it's the same about things for your car. This is a safety issue. Like, I w would not risk it. Um... Catherine is saying uh, that will get dirty in a spill split second or you should make it out of nylon cord like the Japanese allergies. Yes, that's what I said. You, um, if you're making it, if you're making it, make it out of nylon. I wouldn't make it out of anything else. Like it's just too, too dangerous. All right. So... We are um, down to the very last item on my list for today. Um, and before we talk about it, let me remind you today's giveaway. So I said what you got to do um, once the live is over, come back to the replay, comment down below, tell me more things that were not a part of today's live. Um, not something that we mentioned, but further things other things um that you think or you know that should not be crocheted and the prize for this week is um this set of interchangeable lit up crochet hooks and they come in this really cute purple case um and that is the prize for today and of course we will choose a winner for that next week on your university and um after i'm going to talk about the last item then we're gonna go to the youtube random comment picker and picker winner out of last week's um uh live so yeah there's that um wonder how the teenager at the car wash would handle this situation says Lori. Alice is saying, also a really good way of getting attention from the cops. Yeah, that's a point. Um, no, not the last one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, all good things come to an end. <laughs> um, yeah, especially if you make it red, green, yellow, and black, right? <laughs> okay, so... Last item on today's list. And again... A lot of you guys uh, will disagree with me. I know this is an item that many people make. 
Um, I know this is an item that many people also like to make to gift. Um, but again, like bear with me, listen through. There is a reason why, um, even though it's very popular, uh, it really should not be crocheted. And we are talking about oven mitts. Yes. This is one item uh, you want to be sure that is extra durable and um, safe for handling hot dishes straight out of the oven. That is the whole point of oven mitts. Um, and you know what isn't extra durable and safe for handling hot dishes straight out of the oven? Yarn. <laughs> Yes, uh, no matter what you tell yourself or what others have told you before, um, even 100% cotton yarn isn't going to completely protect your hands from the heat. It might reduce the heat a little. Um, it might take longer for the heat to reach your skin, but that's it. It's not like heat resistant. Um, and unless you plan to make your... Um, oven mitts doubled sided and put heat insulation inside uh, your um, creation would not be the same as the uh, factory made store bought ones and once again this is a project a product uh, that is designed to protect you okay um so you know much like not much like <laughs> totally different than uh what we we're talking about um uh, feminine products but again there's like a design to this uh that that the purpose of oven mitts is to protect you from being hurt and as such it is submitted to the, an abundance of tests in order to serve its purpose um oven mitts like ones that are made in a factory are made out of materials that are difficult to ignite or uh, they are designed to be fire barrier fabrics. Um, the newer ones that are factory made are also um, treated with silicon which make them resistant to water and stains um, and pretty much as far like as weird as, as it sounds there's actually is a science behind the product that is oven mitts. So in short, um, while oven mitts make a wonderful holiday gift or housewarming gift, um, crochet oven mitts that you make at home are just not safe and could be very dangerous. So, you know, just consider that. Um, Lori says that she does want to make a steering wheel cover to keep from burning her hands in the summer and protect her arthritis um, plague joints. Um, okay, Alice said that's just obvious. No, nope, too dangerous, says Catherine. Yes, and please never ever use acrylic for any kind of oven mitts. Exactly. I made panda oven mitts, but it's decorative, says Lita. Well, decorative is another thing, but don't actually use them. Uh, Laura says, I wonder what their hands look like after touching a hot oven pan, right? Um, Anita is saying, yeah, I've never trusted that yarn would work as oven mitts. Never crocheted them. And Debbie is saying, you have to line it with material that is used in the ones you buy. Um, Alice is saying, sorry, Kath, don't quite get that one either way, probably, don't quite get that one either. No, sorry, Kath, don't quite get that one. Either way, probably best to avoid. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, right, buy one instead. Um, nope, fully agree, Reggie, that's dangerous item to use. Yeah. It is. It is dangerous. Uh, decorations only, yes, but don't actually like use crocheted oven mitts. Um, exactly. Alice, the rustic colors are 100% associated with weed here. Uh, probably certain to get. Yeah. Um, 
the Alice here in Germany, um, you would get stopped right away if you if you had something like that. Um, yes, Deb, if you line it with the insulation material, then it's safe, but just the yarn, no. Um, I agree. If you line it, you know, with the insulation material and then you put like a fabric lining inside, um, it could work, but like as a whole, again, something that's designed to be a safety item um, and you cannot regulate it at home the same way that it's regulated in factories. So like I would not recommend making them and that includes um, what we call pot holders. Um, you know, it's the same, same thing. Um, yeah. Right, so that concludes my list for today. I hope that we all learned some important lessons. Um, I'm sure that uh, if any of you have ever had any ideas of crocheting um, tampons, condoms, butt plugs, um, you would learn that you should not. I'm pretty sure that my point about the chicken sweaters and turquoise <laughs> shell covers uh, was uh, well received as well. And I hope uh, that um, you all will think twice before uh, considering making oven mitts. So, um, yeah. And definitely, if any of you ever does fall into the trap of crochet nail art, uh, I would love to see that. Um, even if just for the sole purpose of me making fun of you, okay? Um... They're saying great class thanks and Anita is saying can't believe you just said butt plugs. <laughs> Anita, like I said, you missed the beginning. You should definitely come back and watch it. Um, Lucky 3 says it's a useful class and um, Orsa says this was for sure educational and I've learned something new for sure and highly entertaining as well. Um, <laughs> that's what she said, but yes, I'm very happy, uh, that we all learned something today. Um, yes, right. Um, too bad there's no such thing as crochet condoms. Ah, uh, <laughs> so I am very, very happy that we all had fun and learned something while doing so. Um, now I am going to take you with me to um, the YouTube random comment picker and I already put in the link for last week's university and I all already filtered duplicate users and um, let's get uh, YouTube comments. We have 23 people who came back to last week's lives to comment and answer the question that I asked. Now I'm going to press the start button and once we know who the winner is, first of all, I'm going to read the comment that came up. If the answer to the question that I asked last week is not in the comment, um, then uh, we are going to have to choose another winner. And if the answer to the question that I ask is in the comment, then the winner uh, has one week to contact me. My email is in the description box below. You have to email me to claim your prize with your full address. Please don't forget to include what country you live in. Um, I know I keep saying that, but keep, people keep sending me addresses without the country. Please don't assume I know where you live. And even if you have one in the past and I have already shipped it, um, a prize to you, that does not mean that I have your address saved anywhere, okay? So email me uh, uh, to claim your prize. And uh, last week we spoke about um, shopping for hand-dyed yarn online and I asked you guys to um, tell me in the comments about um, a yarn dyer that you shopped with, uh, yarn dyer that you shopped with or uh, yarn dyers you want to shop from and different things that you have to comment about that. 
And let's start and see who the winner is. And it's Debbie. And Debbie says, I just ordered some yarn from a dyer in the US. I'm waiting to receive my yarn. Um, I'd love to order from several other dyers, but the shipping is a deterrent. So um, the again, the question that I asked was, um, do, have you ever bought hand-dyed yarn? What did you make with it? Tell me about it or um, maybe um, recommend several uh, hand-dyed hand no yarn dyers and um i also said that i would really uh love to hear uh if you never ordered hand dyed yarn before why or what are your um what are the things that make you step away from it so uh shipping was something that a lot of people did mention and uh debbie did as well so debbie congratulations you are the winner of the mystery um notion pouch or notion pouch filled with mystery items so congratulations to you and cheers um bungee cords says Catherine. <laughs> always good times as um Demi Dor says, I played back on the TV to see the great pictures I missed seeing. I was using my imaginations. Um, and Tammy saying, lol, Catherine, I think a few people I know I'd love to give crochet bungee cord to. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm also interested in knowing, um, Doris, if the pictures matched your <laughs> imagination. <laughs> um... Congrats, Debbie. Thank you, Ray. This was uh, fun and educational, says Madonna. Cheers, cheers to you. My son and husband have guests over for football. I've had to use my headphones and pause button frequently today, but still had great fun. I'm very, very happy to hear that, Lori. Congratulations. Yes, Debbie. Congratulations. Um... Reggie, I've been watching and I have enjoyed all the information and the comments i i love you take care and his thank you Car karen i love you too and hi to jamie were you here this whole time um they were even better on tv says doris <laughs> okay so you guys uh if you came in late to today's chat i highly recommend that you go and watch the beginning i think we definitely started off with a bang today i know i had a, a very good laugh um and I had a lot of fun with you all. It is um, 8.30 in the evening here and now. I know that Granny D goes live in half an hour. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure for those of you who are interested that Hobie is also um, going live in about half an hour. If I am not mistaken or they might already be live. Um, I don't know but I'm gonna check that out. And um, so I will say good uh, day, good night, good, I don't know, morning <laughs> um, to all of you. I had a wonderful time hanging out with you all today. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next week on your university or somewhere else on the YouTube halls. So as always, I'm going to leave the chat running so that everyone can say goodbye to everybody. But um, for me, for now, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.